going to pull into come and go up here. We're going to throw the hood open. And we're going to play it. Let's take some bets. It almost sounded like it was up by the firewall. But on that same note, it kind of sounded like... Anger, Opie. The anger. He took your ball right in front of you. Hey, bully. How's it going? You guys know we have two of those. So you guys wouldn't have to share one. I'm letting you know. You dad, I like that one, though. Yes, I know. I finally got me a new poopy shirt. If you didn't catch the end of last, uh, if you didn't catch the last video, I was telling you guys that I was going to take Warden for a little motorcycle trip out to Eastern Iowa, and it's probably been about five years since we've taken the bike over there and kind of just relaxed a little bit. We went down to Savannah and spent some time running around Poopy's Bar and Grill. It's a, it's a uh, biker bar, I guess you could call it, and uh, that was pretty cool. I got me a new shirt and ate some food. Got to see a lot of add-ons that they put on the place. The owner's Jeep, well, that, that was pretty awesome in itself. I don't think it's probably ever left concrete, but it looks awesome. And then from there, we ran up to Galena, Illinois, and spent some time there running around. That town, if you've never been to Galena, Illinois, is it's a step back in time. It actually... Uh, well, it looks like almost like a uh, Deadwood, South Dakota kind of thing. It's it's beautiful. It's historic, and it's just awesome to look at. Hey, that's even a W9 there, sir. I know, I saw that. It looks just like my truck. I saw that. A metal sign. Your truck says yellow. Well, it's not yellow, dork. Yeah. And then from there, we ran up to uh, Marquette, and that's where we spent uh, a couple nights. We rode a ferry. I'm trying to remember what the name of that ferry was, if I can, or put it right here. We rode a ferry on the motorcycles. That was awesome. Well, right now we're coming into Sloan, Iowa. It's only about 24 miles from home. We've had a beautiful drive for 24 miles. I just heard a loud bang underneath the hood. So now we're gonna play a game, What Broke Now? It's a fun game. I, I play it quite often. When I'm going down the road, I'll be like, man, the truck's running great. Everything's riding awesome. Then I hear a noise or something or make kind of a wiggle or something weird. Then I go, what broke now? I'm going 
going to pull into come and go up here. We're going to throw the hood open. And we're going to play it. Let's take some bets. It almost sounded like it was up by the firewall. But on that same note, it kind of sounded like when you throw a belt. Now this truck has four belts, so you're not going to know if it threw just one belt. Because all your gauges are still going to read the same. But it did sound like it was right up here on the firewall, so... figured truck stops slow so we just will play this game in some shade our weather today is pretty nice it's supposed to get up to 95 degrees come on big girl oh oh I think that might have been oh yeah I think that might have been a hood spring right there that was our big bang Where'd the rest of you go? Oh, you're up there. You see it? Right there. Awesome. I like that. That has nothing to do with mechanics. That just has something to do with opening the hood. Cool. Very cool. I bet no one got that. Did anybody get that? Come on. Admit to it. Did anybody guess a hood spring? When it first happened, it went through my head. I'm not gonna lie. I know, you're thinking, there's no way, Schmidt, that went through your head. It actually did go through my head. Man, that could have been a hood spring. But then, like I said, it sounded like it came from the firewall. Easy fix. Easy, easy fix. I like that. I like, I like that. You know, I guess, I guess I really didn't tell you guys what our agenda today is for. Nope. We are technically not trucking. Yes, we're in the truck. But we're not going anywhere. I'm going to swing over here to the yard. I want to talk to the travel agent just a little bit. But then we're running down to uh, the dealerships. We're going to grab... Uh, we're going to grab a couple lights for the bumper that are busted. And uh, I want to grab, I don't know, we'll see what we grab. I, I want to grab a couple things 
make the truck look a little better. Independence Day, or 4th of July, is coming up. And back home, they have uh, a normal parade, and uh, they have a car show. Now, I got a buddy of mine, well, California, you guys have met him. And I have uh, Farmer Dan, you guys have met him, coming over to the car show. We're going to put our trucks in it, just a small little thing. And we all know First Class is by far leaps and bounds, not a show truck. But I would like to make it look decent. Not, not you know, wah, show truck shine, but decent. There you go, quick and painless. Just needed the jibber jab is pick his ear, pick his brain a little bit on what trucking's doing and if things are gonna improve here shortly or whatnot. Me and Warden, we want to take the family on a good vacation. This is Tater Tot, my daughter's last uh, last summer with us in the wise of where we can force her to go somewhere with us because she's a senior this year. And I'm trying to decide if I want to take we got one big motorcycle trip this year and we got one big vacation this year and I'm trying to decide when I want to take them if I want to take them all in one stint or if I want to spread them out you know kind of thing it's kind of looking like we might be taking them in one stint all right well we got that part done now we're gonna run down and see if we can find some pretty some Oh, I don't want to get anybody's hopes up by no means. We're just going to clean the truck up. You know, the normal stuff. Oh, maybe someday we'll polish stuff up that pretty. Yeah, those bumper lights, they are uh, cab lights. They weren't supposed to be cab lights and they weren't supposed to be clear lights when I got the bumper. But uh, that's, that's just the way, I was foolish. I went to a dealership body shop to have them put those lights on. They put a bunch of cab lights on and well, cab lights aren't sealed, but we bought two cab lights because I don't want to take the time to put all new watermelon lights on there. It's on the agenda, you know how it is. that I was going the wrong way. Go ahead, Maddie. That's so pretty. Shit. <laughs> it's dirty, man. I got bird shit in two different colors. That was the six inch lift, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, Troy's gonna go with the four inch on his. The true four inch. Put, well, this, a, put a set of 35s on his. That's a legit six and a half inch lift. Yeah. Well, you saying you saying my four inch lift on my Super Duty wasn't legit? No, no, it wasn't. That. No, it wasn't legit. I'm not saying it that. went up two inches at the back and three and a half at the front. Yeah, because I mean this. Well, see, I figured you know with the six-inch lift, I would have had a four-inch block in the back. Mm -hmm. But when they told me I had to have a five-inch block in the back, I was like, no, this ain't right. 
but yeah. Still is. coming to the truck show Saturday? Yeah. Car show? Yeah. Just gonna be us two and maybe Porter. That's fine. Then there'll be I'll those be cab overs that usually come over. Oh yeah, I'll be there. What's a Hindu truck? You see that right there? We're at Kenworth right now. Ran into California here. He's grabbing a couple things for his pickup and a couple things for his truck. And uh, that's, you guys have met him. If you haven't met him yet, you will meet him Saturday at the car show. We're looking at his truck real good, walk around it. Um, some of you haven't seen his truck in a while. He's got airbags under the front. He's got all kinds of fancy things on it now. It looks like a Pimp Suave truck. Now his pickup. Semi. He's got a W900. That's a, that's a, I call it a pretty boy truck. It's very pretty. Well, um, if anything goes right, if everything goes right, our next video out will be me making first class kind of look prettier than what it is. Maybe clean the frame up a little bit, lights, maybe throw a little bit of polish on those rims. Not deep polish, just something to make it look a little shinier than what it is. That should be the next video, if all goes right. And if it doesn't go right, the next video will be me showing a California Semi. So it's gonna be one of those. All right now, I'm gonna swing down here to Casey's, and then me and Bud are gonna go do some fishing. You guys stay safe, as always.
or see you next time.